The complexity of the allergic response is explained in further detail in another video. When the epithelium, which in this case I'm showing is the skin, but it could be respiratory tract, it could be GI tract, whatever the allergen is in contact with the epithelium, eventually there's damage. And sometimes there is an IgE, which is what we consider an atopic response when there is a specific IgE to that allergen. The response to IgE basically drives three types of cells that bear the IgE receptor, and I explain this in more detail in another video. The importance of these three types of cells is that they contain granules that basically will destroy proteins in several different tissues, and this will cause an immediate reaction, which is within minutes. The other types of cells that are involved in an allergic response are activated and they produce three cytokines, interleukin-4, interleukin-5, and interleukin-13. Not only these three cytokines are produced by different cells that are involved in the allergic response, but they are also binding receptors in many different cells. This will cause the late phase response several hours later. So this is what we call allergic, and that has to do with clinical manifestations. For instance, with a mosquito bite, we do know that there is some level of difference after you get the first response. Some people start getting more tolerant and they start not feeling it. Others will actually have a worse reaction on second or third exposure. And those manifestations can vary from just a mild itchiness to a large edema at the local site to even systemic reactions. So all of that is called allergic reaction. When there is IgE, we call it atopic. Not all allergic reactions have the IgE specific component. Let's take a look at how these cytokines work. So interleukin-4 will bind the cells that bear a receptor, that's the receptor for interleukin-4, which has two chains, interleukin-4 receptor alpha chain and the gamma chain, the common gamma chain. This intracellularly will activate the Janus kinase system and phosphorylate the stats, producing the appropriate response. It's a type 1 receptor for cytokines. Now, the interleukin 4 receptor alpha chain can also be associated in other cells with the interleukin 13 receptor alpha 1 chain. And this kind of associated receptor can respond to both interleukin-4 and interleukin-13. So cells that bear this kind of receptor will respond to both. They activate and phosphorylate to the Janus kinases and the appropriate stats intracellularly that then produce the response. This is a type 2 receptor. Now, it has been described that interleukin-13 can also bind an interleukin-13 receptor alpha-2, which has no Janus kinases associated intracellularly. And for a long time, this was perceived as potentially a decoy system, something that could dampen a response after some time and will no longer activate cells. However, recently I found that there's some publications that uh, have found that this can particular type of receptor eventually produces the tissue growth factor beta and may be associated with fibrosis. So the one thing that we see in common for the three types of binding, so two cytokines and two types of receptors binding to different cells that activate them is the presence of Janus kinase 1. Whereas we don't have that in the decoid uh, or in the other IL-13 receptor alpha-2 system. So let's take a look at the responses that produce an activation intracellularly. We have interleukin-5 also. The receptor for interleukin-5 has two chains, interleukin-5 receptor alpha and interleukin-5 receptor beta chain. They signal also through activation and phosphorylation of the Janus kinases and STAT1, STAT3, and STAT5, which are present in the eosinophils. This is a very specific eosinophil response. 
and this will produce eosinophil maturation, survival, and activation. In summary, the three cytokines involved in the allergic responses all signal through JAK1, which provides an opportunity for inhibiting JAK1 with medication to treat allergic responses. Thank you for watching and consider subs subscribing to my channel and watching other videos that I have created. Thank you very much.